Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Hello there and welcome. Welcome, Gary. Good morning. Good to be here. Good to see you again. We have a viewer email today. We're going to pull it up on the screen. Here we go. What is the purpose of umbrella insurance? And as a private homeowner, do I need it? Well, that's a good question. It comes up some, you know, I, I don't know that need, you're never going to need it unless something happens, you know, right. and then so are you going to be glad you had it if something happens? Uh, yes. Yeah. So what is it? It's additional coverage on top of the minimal coverage that your homeowner's policy has. Most homeowners policies have 100,000 in liability protection or 300, and then you put another million or whatever it is on top of that. So, you know, God forbid something happens that requires that. Uh, but some people feel better having it there. It's cheap product. It provides additional coverage in case something goes wrong, you know. So if you're socially conscious, you're worried about making sure somebody's taken care of if something does go wrong, mm -hmm. then it's something to have. If you're worried about your assets, then it's something to have. It's something to talk to your insurance agent about, I think, really. Um, I don't think it, it's not required, mm -hmm. uh, but it is cheap. But something to consider, right? It's the the, the cost consider. versus the benefits. If it helps you sleep at night thinking <laughs> you're better, then by all means, talk to somebody about okay. it. Okay. All right. Very good. Now, schools are going to be starting back soon. Um, what is your take on this and their liability towards students and faculty? You know, I don't think there's going to be any liability. I just don't see that. Uh, number one, we've we've put in immu immunity for a lot of what's going on. So claims against health care providers based on COVID are immune. They're immune right now. Uh, I don't know how far that's going to extend. I suspect there's some push to make it so that employers are immune from responsibility. Um, home owner, uh, shop owners, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far this is going to go, but schools already have a good bit of immunity. I, I cannot imagine that case having any real uh, value because it's hard enough to prove where anything happens and to prove where you got the disease really limits these cases. I mean, the, the causation is a problem. You know, we've got um, four things to prove that you um, uh, there was negligence, there was a breach of a duty and that caused an injury and proving causation is really difficult in a case of, of communicable disease or food poisoning, that kind of thing. So Hardly. I don't see there being any issue. I'm more worried about our teachers than I am their liability for this. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Thank you so much for that answering those questions today, Gary, and we'll see you on the very next legal break.